Hello, and welcome to Matrix Snippets. In this session, we will discuss how to set up auto emails from imported saved searches. All your saved searches in Fusion, regardless of whether they were auto notification or just regular saved searches, were brought over into Matrix and can be located under My Matrix, Saved Searches. Click on Save Searches, it's going to bring you to the summary of all your saved searches and auto notifications. In order to distinguish between the different types of searches, you'll see the word imported, which means it was a regular saved search and there were no problems with that search when it was brought over. If you see a search that says imported with an asterisk, that means there's a discrepancy between the criteria that was in Fusion that is now in Matrix and needs to be corrected. If you see a plus sign, that means it was an auto notification in Fusion and was brought over as an auto notification but not enabled. The first thing you need to do is to verify the search criteria, make sure it's correct, go back to Fusion. In Fusion, you need to disable your auto notification and we'll do that in another session. But remember, before you turn an auto, a save search into an auto email, turn off the one in Fusion. So for this exercise, we're going to go in here to New Stats Active. And I'm going to click on Settings because I've already verified the criteria. And we're going to go into Settings. And in Settings, there's an option at the top that says Turn this save search into an auto email. It's very simple. Just click on that. And it's going to take you to the auto notification. Now, in this case, I get this warning that says this search finds too many listings to be in an auto email, 250 max. Well, before I go any further, I want to correct that. So I'm going to cancel out of this, and I'm going to go back here to the criteria, and I'm going to modify the criteria. Right now, you can see I have 4,584 matches, and I'm pretty much searching the entire system. So I've got single family condo, two units and vacant land in here and I want to trim it down so I've only got a few. So I'm going to go click on Barrington and I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to select Boroughville. Um, once I do that you notice that I'm down here at the bottom to the left where it says matches I've got 179. So I'm well within the limits of 250. Go ahead and click Save and it's going to bring you back to this settings for imported new save search actives. So I can rename it right here. I'm going to get rid of the imported. And it says new stats active and I'm going to change the name of that one. And we're going to call it active Barrington and Boroughville. And I can never spell Boroughville. But we'll go with that for now. And we can correct it if it's wrong later on. And I'm going to say Turn this save search into an auto email. Do you notice that link at the top of the page? Turn this save search into an auto email. I'm going to click that link and it's going to take me right into the auto email wizard. Okay. Two criteria must be filled in for the auto email setup. One of them is the contact. We'll select Catherine. Now I can BCC it to me if I choose. Subject line. And this needs to be something that's descriptive to the client so when they receive this search in the portal, they'll know what they're looking at. Barrington and Boroughville. That's all you have to have in there. So those two requirements, so now you could actually send this if you wanted to. But you have the welcome email down here. Now remember, the welcome email is only set out the first time that you set up an auto email for your client. You can modify this for each one of your clients and it'll be different for each one of the searches. You can edit the salutation and you can also modify the reoccurring email. Now the difference between the welcome and the reoccurring is the welcome it will go out once unless you resend it yourself but it goes out once the first time you set it up and the minute you click save down at the bottom that welcome email is gone to your client. The reoccurring email is the one that's being sent each and every time that a listing meets the criteria for the search that you set up for your client, it will be sent to the client with this information. So you want to kind of keep this generic and you know say here here's some more search results for you to look at. Look forward to hearing from you. Anything you want. But just don't put something in there that's going to require them to be in touch with you every five minutes. Like uh, don't put in there say oh look at these and we'll go have lunch. So that means every time they receive one they're going to look to go out to lunch with you. 
and you don't want to do that well maybe you do that's up to you um, down here the criteria that's the information that you set up for your search and down here under settings is concierge mode or enable as a favorite search we'll cover these in another session but just note that they are there okay and then on the schedule the scheduling is the same as fusion you have ASAP daily or monthly and under daily you have the option to send it out twice a day select your days you only want to send it out Sunday Tuesday there is Thursday and Saturday just uncheck the ones that you don't want once you've got the alls all selected you've got your scheduling all set up you're ready to save it as a save search as an auto notification excuse me an auto email use the correct terminology here so we click on save the minute I hit save that search and welcome message has gone to your client now we're gonna go back under here under my matrix because it's no longer listed here we're gonna go back into my matrix and check auto email which is where it was moved to and you can see here's that search that we moved over from save search to auto email now the little white circle indicates that the client has not yet activated that search the email that they get once they click on the link in there it's going to take them to the portal that will activate it saying okay I will now start to receive more emails when I get uh, different updates that meet the criteria and that will automatically happen as you can see down here there's one with a check mark in it that's what it will look like now at this point <clears throat> you're done with what you have to do it's up to your client to go in and check out the auto email and click on the link you can still modify this at any point in time and here's your criteria your settings results date since and if you wanted to send the re resend the welcome message you can do it right here you can also check the portal and open it in the clients portal you can modify the criteria at this point you can go into settings and if you don't want to leave this as an auto email you just want to leave it as a safe search you can change back again by clicking on settings and notice the link up here is now changed to be just the reverse this is now going to turn an auto email into a safe search and I think this is uh, pretty much all you need to do and it's very quick to set up your auto notification and I would go about doing that as soon as possible and you want to make sure that they're all functioning properly when the conversion uh, cutover goes on February 1st and once you're done with it you click on save and you're all set to go if you have any questions please call or contact MLS Tech Support 401-785-9898 and select option 3 thank you very much and have a great day